Well, are you feeling a bit bean boozled about how to keep the hungry kids ticking over when they're home from school? Well, look no further. Sinead Delahunty has a quick and easy option in store with her smoky bean quesadilla. <laughs> quesadilla. Great. That's better. Quesadilla. Okay, quesadilla. Yeah, like <laughs> no, it's, it's Irish not, it's stew not I grew up on, not quesadillas. It's not quesadilla in an and Italian tortillas. accent. Spanish accent. Well, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> You'd start this dish very similar to how you do a stew or a mince or anything oh, like right, that. Okay. So oil in your pan or your sauce, whatever you have, and you're literally getting your garlic and your onions in there. So like every good dish, I think, should always start with plenty of garlic and onions. Mm -hmm. Again, spring onions, if you had some of them, like, you know, just left mm. over from something, they'll be perfect. Um, so it's really, really easy, this dish. Like, you know, it's just using really, like, the base of it is four ingredients. You've got your onions, you've got your garlic, um, you've got your beans, and then you've got your tomatoes. So you're just kind of making everything down, like, into, like, a soft, kind of spreadable um, paste essentially or you can keep it kind of rough so you're getting like lots of the moisture obviously tomatoes are full of yeah, juice yeah. so they're creating like kind of the liquid to it and then the beans like they're just kind of creating obviously the fibers and the protein element to the dish and then it just really comes together into a nice spread into your tortilla What's to it? make your quesadilla. Is that, is that paprika then beside yes. it here? Yeah. So okay. I so love that's... working with um, smoked paprika in particular. Okay, right, yeah. Because you really get that like lovely mm. kind of like smoky flavour, you know, as if you had bacon in there or smoked chicken or something like that. And it just, it's so, so powerful, like the smell. But regular like cayenne pepper or like just regular um, ground chilli or just chilli flakes will work perfect too. So kind of whatever you want. Or you could go for more like a Middle Eastern mix and you could put in like cumin or like you could nearly turn into like an Indian dish and like put in like more your curry powder and ground coriander, that kind of thing. I like the smoky beans though. I definitely mm. like that kind of smoked paprika. It definitely sounds oh, tasty. It's so, so what so went good. in there? How many cloves of garlic did you put in with so your I onion? So I put in four cloves of garlic and then half an onion. Oh wow, um, So garlic. just softening that down and then you're getting in your chopped tomatoes. So that's about three like kind of medium um, tomatoes. Mm and just chop them up nice and small. So again, like you're starting with the heat low and then building it up at this stage. So like, you know, you can just kind of leave things in the pot, you know, you can be, you know, sorting things out, um, otherwise in the kitchen or the house and come back to it. And you'll, what you'll see is like the tomatoes kind of blister as if you'd roasted them. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see the skin kind of loosen a bit. So the juice has come out another little bit and then you just get your beans in. And the beans then, they're from a tin, are they? You exactly, pour out, so pour I just, yeah, exactly, just use them. a tin, just make sure, obviously, drain and rinse them. Mm. You know, they're generally in a brine or in water. Again, kidney beans, chickpeas, butter beans, cannelli, whatever you have in the press. You know, you could use the mixed bean mix either. So really like, you know, or you can do a, like a bit of a mishmash of a few different types. And do they soften down then? Yeah, so literally you can see now here, um, like there's a lot of liquid in the pan, so yeah. that's perfect. Get this heat up that's another perfect. little bit. That's what you want. Or yeah. You boil oh, that no, down? no, you want it liquidy, yeah, because that's going to really um, help just kind of loosen up the beans. Okay. So once then your tomatoes like have begun to blister a little bit, you just pop in your beans, get your heat back up then again now because the pot is going to be you know a bit more fuller at this stage. And again, like the beans are already cooked, but what you'll see is that they begin to kind of soften down and blister a little bit as well. So I don't have an induction at home. I was not as familiar yeah, with this one. Um, this they are hard. great, so speedy. So then when like the beans begin to soften and you'll see them like begin to pop open other bit, it gets very, very technical. This is stuff that you won't find in any cookbook, right. I promise, right? Okay. It's called bashing <laughs> your beans. <laughs> so bashing this is a bit, okay. you get anyone at home that like is a bit pent up after the day in school, is like, you know, frustrated, whatever. And you literally get the back of your spoon and you start squashing all your beans. You can let go and mm. uh, you use a big saucepan so, you know, you can really get angry in there and just start bashing them all. Up. Potato. Uh, you could use a potato peeler. Yeah. I just find like the back the of masher. the spoon the is masher, perfect. Yeah. yeah, you could definitely get the masher in there, and you'll see like all the beans will start to like crush up, and you'll get like a more of a paste going on. So that's then what you will spread then into your tortillas. So I just let those um, soften there another bit and get my pan on for the tortillas. So definitely like a dry pan is what you need. Don't need oil on this at all at all. 
Okay. This is a particularly um, good one if you like to do meat-free Mondays or, perfect. you know, just yeah. if you've had a roast yeah. on Sunday, it's good to give the system a break sometimes from That's meat. it. Or like, you know, if you have, again, list, leftover roast veg from roast dinner yesterday, something like mm. that, pop it in. Um, but again, then if you want to just get rid of all your leftovers, you know, chicken, ham, whatever, you can add, add in there. So when does the spinach go in? When do we do it? Yeah, so it once your tortilla is heating up there nicely, get another little bit of heat on that. Again, just make sure you don't want to start burning the tortilla. Yeah. So just keep Keep an eye on it. This will all kind of begin to shape in around the pan nicely. Sorry, is that, and you just put in a dry pan? Dry pan, yeah. Get your pan up and warm. Then add your cheese. This is very little badness. This is so healthy. You this haven't used any fat or oil. And or again, anything. you could like go without the tortilla then. You could just pop it into like a bowl or use like lettuce cups um, or just even cut your tortilla into like little chips and just dip into it. You know, so it's nice. Like, mm. Lots of different options for whatever, you know, you fancy at home or whatever people's preferences are. The tortilla so don't they have a lot of calories in them? Didn't we discuss this last week? Yeah, I started looking that up at home. I don't. We need Not to sure. fact check that when one again. Check. I okay, right. <laughs> but that was this a whole meal tortilla? So it yeah, should be fair. Exactly. Yes, yeah. so you get your whole and meal. Just pour get your that in. Ones. Exactly. Just pop it in. Wait for your just cheese to kind of that start to begin okay, to melt. Okay, we're running out of time. And then here, you so can get just... your spinach in. Make sure you only get that on half. And then some of your bean mix. You're literally popping over the top. So pour it on half and exactly. then fold it over. Exactly, and fold mm. that over. It's really tasty, Sinead. Mm. Good. It's really, really tasty. Pass the test. Yeah, I really like and it. And then the main thing is just after you fold it over to press it down so you get that nice kind of compact. So when you're eating it, it's not like kind of spreading everywhere. Yeah, no, it's and lovely. It. Really nice, healthy option of the Monday. Very good, Thank yeah. you very much, Excellent. Sinead. No problem. like that. It's like a sandwich. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> tasty. Um,